Hello everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm here with the Houston Public Library to bring you guys another book chat. Today we are going to be talking about some of my favorite young adult fantasy novels from the past few years. And I specifically chose these titles because they have a lot of crossover appeal to adult audiences. If y'all are anything like me, a great young adult novel can be a pleasure to read no matter how old you are. So these picks are for teens and adults alike. Let's start chatting. First on our list today, we've got Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. This book is the first installment of a trilogy inspired by Polish folklore, and it follows the intertwining destinies of three characters, the girl, the prince, and the monster. These characters are on opposing sides of a centuries-old war between Kalyazin, a devoutly religious country that believes magic is a gift from the gods, and Trinavia, a country that has eschewed the gods and taken power into their own hands via blood magic. When the cleric Nadia's monastery is attacked by Trinavian prince Seraphin, she escapes into the wilderness, where she meets Malakiash, a strangely powerful Trinavian army defector, who will either be her way to win the war or her downfall. This book is gothic and romantic and hard to put down. It's got a good amount of political intrigue, but the plot moves a lot faster than your typical adult fantasy novel, making it a great read for teen and adult readers alike. If you liked Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Moore or the Grishaver series by Lee Bardugo, this book is for you. Next on our list, we've got Crier's War by Nina Varela. This book offers a unique look at AI versus humans and the moral intrigue behind creating a living sentient being. In this duology, Adame, a created race of beings originally intended as playthings for the rich, have taken over the world and subjected humans to a life in servitude as second-class citizens. Human main character Ayla would do anything to bring the Adame down and revenge the death of her family. Autumn main character Lady Cryer has been preparing her entire life to take over her father's kingdom, but her curiosity and benevolence don't fit in well with the harsh rulership that her father has planned for her. Their paths collide when Ayla is assigned to be Lady Cryer's maidservant at the palace. As Cryer's feelings for Ayla begin to blossom, Ayla begins to plot with a group of rebels against the entire royal family, including Lady Cryer herself. This book is beautifully written and surprisingly tender despite the threat of betrayal lurking around every corner. Read this if you liked A Closed and Comet Orbit by Becky Chambers or the video game Detroit Become Human. And last on our list for today, we have this gorgeous new release, The Mermaid, The Witch, and the Sea by Maggie Takuda Hall. This book begins on a pirate ship. Florian, a young sailor is part of a dastardly crew of pirates that pretend to be a passenger ship for the rich only to steal the passenger's belongings and then sell them into slavery. In the face of extreme wealth inequality, Florian believes that their pirating is a form of vigilante justice against a cruel upper class. That is, until they meet Lady Evelyn Hasegawa. Lady Evelyn is kind and gentle with Florian and she's already suffered an awful fate. Her parents have married her off to a cruel man halfway across the world who she's never met. Together, Evelyn and Florian have to figure out how they can escape the pirate ship and make it to safety without drawing the attention of the vicious captain and crew. This book is an enchanting journey all the way throughout, and even though it was only released in May, it has that old as time classic feeling that really great fairy tales get. I would recommend this book to fans of Stardust by Neil Gaiman or Howl's Moving Castle by Diane Wynne-Jones. That is it for today. If you are a teen reader, I hope you pick up one of these great titles. And if you're an adult reader, I hope that this book chat inspired you to dive back into the world of young adult literature because there are some truly amazing and diverse books out there. You can place a hold on any of these items by visiting our library website at www.houstonlibrary.org. And don't forget, you can request a custom reading list fit to your exact reading preferences on our library website as well. That is all for today. Thanks for tuning in to another book chat with the Houston Public Library. We'll see you next time.